guys, um, before I get started, I feel I should point this out. Every other day I wake up, because I wake up every day, but every other day when I wake up and I have, on days I have to make a video, I always think to myself, I'm like, okay, I can't put on a shirt with a logo, or I have to avoid a logo, and I can't put on anything with my town on it. So I always like deliberately avoid wearing my shirts with my town names and things that are like, Abercrombie and huge letters across the font on every other day. And then I come home, and then I wait until like 11.30 when I've changed in my pajamas to come and make a video. And then I come downstairs, and it, I'm just like, oh man, I put on my pajamas that have my town across the front. And then I have to put on a sweatshirt, and then I look like a bum in every single video. And this is a serious problem, and I just thought I'd share that with you. Alright, cool. Um, so today I was going to make my video on uh, secondary dominance, which is a music theory concept. But I keep forgetting that music theory is really a terrible idea to make a video about because it's so, like, I'd have to go into what music is before I could explain a certain aspect of it to you. And if you can't read music, that would be like a seven hour video, and I try to keep these under four minutes. So, yeah. Um, so I decided instead that I would share with you a more embarrassing fact that I stumbled upon today. Um, background on this. My friends and I are competing in National History Day uh, this coming weekend, so on Saturday we'll be at, at the competition, and our topic is the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles Revolution Come Together Across the Universe is our project title, which I keep not saying correctly, but whatever. Not a big deal. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've spent like three months now working out a script, running lines about the Beatles, and writing about the Beatles. So you would expect me to know things about the Beatles, but today we were talking about, uh, Sam actually is doing National History Day with me, and we were discussing something, I don't even remember what we were talking about, something about how like we are the ghosts of the Beatles, and then she said, oh wait, but one of them is still alive, and I was like, yeah, right, Paul's still alive, and then the other guy who's doing the project with us goes, Paul and Ringo are alive, and I was like, oh my god, what? I totally thought only one Beatle was still alive. I mean, I guess I didn't know... I don't know how George Harrison died either. I, I guess, like, after they broke up, I just stopped caring about them. Not even stopped caring about them. But it's just, like, I didn't research beyond that point because it wasn't really relevant to our project anymore. So I had no idea that Ringo Starr was still alive. And I still have no idea how George Harrison died. Maybe I should look that up and let you know. Just looked it up. Poor guy died of lung cancer. Oh, I didn't even know that. Poor George Harrison. And John Lennon was like assassinated or something. <laughs> I'll look that up too. Oh, he actually was assassinated. See, I know things. But yeah, so I figured that would be my fact for today, that I am an embarrassing human being who does not know anything about the Beatles, despite having just done a huge research project on them. Now that you have lost all your respect for me, I will see you on Saturday. <laughs>